Welcome back to Bullshit Game. This is when the game starts to ramp up in difficulty. In my opinion, it ramps up okay for this stage, but uh, you'll see later in the video that it actually also ramps up way too fucking fast. There are a lot of reasons in this game that make this game a bad, a bad Toho game. It's not a bad, bad game. It's just for Toho standards, this is pretty shit. Sorry if I go quiet. Occasionally I'll just find myself playing Toho. Okay. Yeah, so uh, we're just gonna hunt down one of the denizens of this area because uh, she ran away. Fuck you. That's why. It's, it's just stuff like that. I will take the bot I will take the extra life though. I am going to fucking need it. Now, there is another reason why this game sucks. And I'm going to try and never show it. But if I get to the final area of the game and it doesn't happen, I'll mention it. But uh just know that losing all your lives means that you're going to be you're going to be met with a very unpleasant surprise. Like really fucking unpleasant surprise. Like, I'm trapped in a corner surprise. Well, I guess I have to pay a fucking amount of one PowerPoint in order to get through. It's not like I need that PowerPoint. Because fuck you, am I right? I will say one thing, though. Just like any other Toho game, the music in this game is phenomenal. It is probably the only, honestly in my opinion, one of the only good things about this game. I feel like the bullets dance to the music almost. It honestly does feel like the bullets are kind of dancing. Okay, yeah, I'll just dodge all of that. Yeah, okay. This is when the game starts to get a little bullshit. The patterns are... bad. They're... Like, don't get me wrong. I fought Clown Piece from Toho 15. That... That is the fucking queen of evil in terms of fucking RNG and bullet manipulation. Gosh damn, though. Yeah, so with uh, 2.4 power, because I fought a challenging boss in a Toho game, I'm gonna get punished in the next stage and get just fucking bodied by the enemies. Does that seem fair? No. Guess what? That's how this game works. Introducing these characters that shoot a constant stream at you, forcing me to go in a circle around all that and lose all my shit. Oh, but don't worry, I could have bombed right there. I wasn't planning on dying, but I, I died anyways. And I love this design feature. Blue enemies shooting blue bullets over a blue background. And green enemies getting shot by my green bullets at the same time. It, it's beautiful. It's like we're using the same colors on purpose half the time. Granted, it's not as bad as Toho 5 in that regard. I mean, let's be honest. A lot of Toho 5 was blue characters on top of blue backgrounds, shooting blue bullets at other blue enemies. At least I got back my life from whatever the fuck that was! Nice, nice little wall there, game.
I don't know, it's, it's these, it's these, it's the little design choices, like, making it to where the, the bullets are the same color, or they wall you off, or this, or that, it's just those little things that add up. And I almost died there, because I wanted fucking life points. I did die there, you can actually hear it in that one. Like, I'm not going to say that I'm the best fucking Toho player. I, I, I have beaten some extra bosses, but not all of them. No, wait, Bomb, come back and protect me from other bullets. Oh, wait, no, you fucking can't. Because that's how the fucking world works in this game. Although, at least here, it's not as bad. It's bright-ass yellow bullets. But the enemies are all completely dark, and my character is also dark, so that doesn't help there. I can only use my bullets to gauge where I'm at. It's the Tengu from back then. I thought that this character was introduced in this game. Huh. I'm the hero that comes and beats her, the true hero, going forth with a bang. Coming from the character, just like Reimu, by the way, the, just add in Reimu, the fucking shrine maiden who fucking serves a quote-unquote good deity. I don't know, I don't know, no one knows who Reimu's deity is. Some think it's, um, Mima from Toho. I honestly have my own theory that it's a character we've never seen before. And if that's the case, that character's not evil, but it's just that fucking... Reimu's, Reimu's um, god is actually just powerful. That's my theory, and that... I'll get into that later. No, the thing is, though, is that... Coming from the people who have been fighting deities... Yeah, we're the fucking hero. Every time that you see a deity get shot in this game, I want you to imagine Hanyu. Just, just visualize Hanyu for a second. That is one of my problems with this game, is that the bosses aren't demons, they're not yokai, which stereotypically in Japanese mythology have caused a lot of humans problems. No, they're deities! They're gods! Evil or not, they're divine beings. Uh, uh, like, I feel like that was just an oversight. Oh, look, I'm down to one power. It's almost as if power shouldn't have been a fucking thing in this game. And use that fucking bomb currency. A fucking Zune? I almost said 07, by the way. It's very hard not to say 07's name. And now I have no extra firepower. So this boss is going to just pile drive me now. Because I'm not I don't have the firepower to fight up against this character. It's actually by that point, it's better just to die and to get all my shit back. I saw a survival spell in the middle of the game and not on an extra boss. Thank gosh for fucking death bombs, am I right? I still have abysmal power though! Ugh. <sighs> I still have not shown the other reason why this game fucking blows all the, the fucking chunks. So, evidently there's a new god, and we're just here to kick her ass, because we have Saturday off, I don't know. <laughs> 